related content, whether it's film breakdowns like this below, quarterback competitions, how we screen and assess quarterbacks in the weight room, whatever it may be, this channel gives any and all quarterback related content. So please consider giving this this ch uh, channel a subscription, like the video, comment below, we'll interact. Enough of that. Let's dive into some JT Daniels film and kind of see what we can take away. And is JT Daniels going to be the best quarterback in the SEC this year? Who the hell knows? I don't know. Just a title. So let's go ahead and watch some film and, and kind of get some takeaways to watch him against multiple defenses. Here's a great example of JT Daniels standing in the pocket. The pocket closes in on him quickly. Daniels makes a quick read against man defense and delivers a strike. So we're going to see it's man defense. This uh, slot receiver is going to come in motion. This safety is going to sit back. Watch how deep he gets. It's going to be cover one, man under, meaning you got one up top safety in the middle of the field, man under, uh, under him. And this safety is going to come down to take this receiver going in motion but watch how deep he gets 15 yards which allows Daniels to fit the ball where he's going to fit it in let's go ahead and start the play and I'll pause it before the throw comes in motion again look he's right about 15 yards and continues to go back at the snap of the ball Daniels back foot hits he's about to throw it right now look where he's looking at so the safety is so far back, he's not going to be able to come up in time. This receiver is running post route right here, and Daniels is going to throw it right there. That allows the receiver to catch it and get more yards after the catch. Awesome job there. And you'll take those those uh, throws any day of the week when you have Georgia's uh, athletes lined up against uh, DB like that. Let's go ahead and watch the end zone angle as well. Watch him throw it around his back foot hits. Pressure is closing. From mid, from the nose guard, as well as from the ends. Not a big pocket. Foot hits, comes out. Great job against man defense and pressure closing in on him. Here's a great example of JT Daniels beating uh, a, a typical zone defense. It's a typical cover two, right? Meaning we have two safeties up top, dividing the field in half. Uh, you have what's called a, a cover two Tampa, which usually would mean the linebacker is kind of moving backwards. Uh, in this case, it's not cover two Tampa as we see this linebacker. It's showing like he's going to blitz. He does end up coming back, but not nearly enough space that's going to uh, cause this position to be a threat uh, defensively. And so for cover two, the, the the main goal as offense is you attack the middle, attack the middle, attack the middle. Most of the time you have uh, linebackers come and curl the flats, meaning they're coming out here covering that space, and you might have some man scheme uh, underneath the cover two. In this case, it's a touchdown to the slot receiver that runs a post here. This is a, a mismatch every day of the week, but it's a good example of JT Daniels uh, finding a way to beat the zone defense and having the ability to do it. He's going to have a three-step drop, quick hitch. There's a decisive throw for a touchdown. We'll go ahead and watch this. So right here is when he knows, okay, middle of the field's wide open. Safety is not going to be able to come down in time. He's got plenty of arm sync to deliver this ball, uh, plus he's throwing it to one of his best receivers right here. Ends up being a touchdown. Let's watch the end zone angle as well. Uh, again, just a good example of JT Daniels beating zone defense. Like there's nothing in the middle of the field. Just watch the middle of the field the whole time. That's an easy throw for Daniels. Makes it look easy. Good arm. So here's a good job of JT Daniels identifying his matchup with it's going to be down here. It's a deep ball. All Georgia fans remember this play, I'm sure. Uh, but identifying his matchup, knowing what he wants, looking at what the safety does, and just throwing a deep bomb uh, ends up being a big play for Georgia. So JT Downs' main uh, main read is what the safety doing. The safety's caught caught up being flat footed. You'll see he comes down to about 10 yards off the line of scrimmage, and so that is uh, is too shallow uh, for a team like Georgia as this safety is able to take the top. I'm sorry, as this receiver is able to take the top off on a deep post let's go ahead and watch this play so right now the, the receivers already got the db beat no shot the safety is 10 yards off the line of scrimmage this is where jt downs is looking at the safety is flat footed so he sees that there's no way the safety can get back there uh, there may be some type of zone scheme here where this safety kind of gets or this db gets back and this safety covers the middle of the field regardless what it is no way either of these two guys are going to be able to cover back here and cover this guy run the deep post slash seam jt daniel sees that and throws a bomb that's his man good good ball by daniel's deep ball as well
Let's watch the end zone angle so you can kind of see where Downs' eyes are, what he's reading. So again, Downs is looking at the safety. He sees him right here, so he's like, there's no way he can get up top. Even if this safety zone is to stay right here, and like I said, the safety on this side is supposed to roll up, regardless what the scheme is, there's no way either of those two guys are going to be able to get back in time. Downs sees that. Pitch and bomb. Big play. This is a clip of JT Daniels and 12 personnel. We got one running back in the backfield here, and then 12 personnel, meaning we got one tight end, and then I'm going to go ahead and count him as another tight end. We're going to have this running back in motion coming across screen. We're going to have a play action to the left side of the field, and I want you to watch this linebacker because this is the key to make this play success successful. He's going to bite in this way, and then as opposed to chasing the uh, tight end, he's going to chase JT Daniels rolling out this way, which leaves the tight end open. Simple play, um, but again, something that Georgia is able to do well because of their run game, and you look forward to you look you expect them to continue to have success in these play action type throws. Just a quick good demonstration. Notice the linebacker bites in towards the run, and now he's going to chase JT Daniels as the tight end right here blocks for a second, and then he's going to roll out here. For a good gain on first second down i believe jt daniels finds him good pick up there ends up being a first down let's go ahead and watch the behind the end zone angle and we can again we're going to target on the backer see this the backer we're going to target on he bites in this way watch him chase daniels as opposed to finding the tight end chase daniels tight end becomes open first down simple but good play So here's a big time uh, play from JT Daniels in the third, fourth quarter, excuse me. They're down 21 10 at this point. We, he's, we see him do a good job in the pocket, is able to take a shot, uh, delivers the ball to the tight end, ends up being a big play. The play after this, I believe they score their touchdown to get the game closer. Watch him take a shot, boom, down to the tight end. This is a good job in a, in a pretty tense situation, able to remain calm. Let's watch it from this point of view. Does a good job in the pocket, eyes downfield, takes a shot, delivers the ball. Good job. 